Happy Fry Friday to all you aficionados. Um, this isn't really fry, but it is fish. Um, my wife has decided she wants to paint our daughter's bedroom, and uh, apparently the this the dresser that this fish tank is on has to be moved. Um, and I'm obviously not going to move it with a fish in it. That and the fumes from the paint isn't good for the fish. So, um, or at least that's what I think. Um, so, first thing I did was, as is a good practice, I unplugged all the devices. I think this is just the lights. I don't unplug the light through there. Everything's unplugged. The power strip. Um, so, you know, my air pump running, no more heater on. Most important thing to make sure that you unplug. Next thing I'm going to do is siphon out some water. Make sure you unplug the heater before you siphon out water, obviously. That could cause the heater to overheat and it could possibly explode. So next I'll be siphoning. I just realized this siphon I got is doesn't have the hand pump, so I'll have to either mouth siphon or do the turning the tube upside down the water siphon. Then what I'll be doing after that is I'll be putting the heater in the five gallon bucket here that I got from outside that wasn't being used. Uh, put the heater in the bucket, obviously not plugged in yet, and then take the um, the uh, sponge filter I've had going for about three weeks now. I'll be putting that in this um, as well, and then just attaching this to my air pump I have going downstairs in a separate room, far away from this room where the fish will not be exposed to the water. And I mean to the uh, to the water. They'll be exposed to the water. They will not be exposed to the fumes in the air. So, hang tight, that's what I'll be doing next. Obviously, I will not be doing that on camera because I need all three of my hands. We'll see about that. All right, so I've now siphoned out um, most of the water into the bucket. I'm gonna be carrying it downstairs. I didn't fill it all the way up. I've already put the heater in and the pump. Obviously, they're not plugged into anything. Um, I was dumb, I forgot a net. So I'll have to go back downstairs and get a net. But what I'll be doing next is I'll be taking out the um, sponge and leaving it in the water to make sure that the beneficial bacteria is as safe as possible. And I'll go ahead and take this sponge off of the intake as well, just to keep the beneficial bacteria in a aquatic environment so it stays uh, as healthy and as living as possible during all this. And I think that'll be better. Um, so next thing we're doing is attempting to catch the fish. We're we'll probably taking plants out for that. Probably the best thing. So, stay tuned. All right. So as you see, I got the plants out, and that made it a lot easier. And then I used an oversized net that's about a, you know, five or six inch wide net. It's in the bathtub right now, so I don't have it handy. But um, uh, then it was took about two minutes to net all the fish and put them in the bucket. And um, I forgot to mention, I do have a about a gallon or two of uh, dechlorinated water uh, ready to add to this once I get downstairs. So it's kind of like doing a, uh, I guess, a little bit of a water change. So it'll help to keep the water uh, parameters a little bit safer. It'll help to keep some clear water, some good water in there. And obviously that stuff has been gravel vacuumed out too. So anyways, next will be their temporary home for the the day they'll be back in their tank hopefully by tonight um, but I don't think I'll be putting the rehoming back in their tank back on video but uh, be sure to stay tuned I will hopefully get some uh, some fry footage in a new some new equipment that I got I'll be hopefully having that later on in this video so stay tuned uh, I guess I'll try to take more of the water out I don't know I'll probably leave, leave like this probably fine should be easy enough to move we'll see Okay, so I'm making sure that the heater is down below the minimum level. Um, the pump is now running. I have it put into this gang, this one, two, three, five way gang valve, which is only using two of them right now. You might recognize this messy desk as the one that's in the background of some of my live streams. But, um, anyways, here's the temporary home of the fish. and. They seem to be doing a little bit better now that the pump is on, so I'll be adding some water. Put it up on top of the desk because um, 
Smoke dog doesn't drink out of the bucket because he will definitely do that. And if it was outside, he would get in it. A 70 pound lab will get in a five gallon bucket. Yeah, it's he's pretty crazy. He's a lab. Yeah, well, no, it's falling topped off on me. So, anyways, stay tuned. We'll be um, hopefully showing some fry footage next. Alright, so here they are, set up in their temporary five gallon bucket while my wife is painting my daughter's room. Uh, came by, they have, their colors have come back a little bit, not the rams, their color didn't come back, but the glowfish. The colors come back and they ate a small snack, I needed to get some of this extra out though I guess, because it wasn't small enough. Um, they seem to be doing just fine, so I was a little worried because I think the female was she, I think she was trying to hide behind the um, sponge filter, so I put this plant in here I'm going to give her more um, hiding places and um, also will provide some more oxygen in the tank as well. So, stay tuned. As promised in my Water Change Wednesday video this week, which I'll post a link to right here, I um, said so I was going to try and show you some of the Fancy Fen female fry. Uh, but that's going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought I was going to. Uh, because, as you see, the water is rather green, which is good for the really, really small fry. Um, this is um, also, as promised earlier in the video, my fancy new piece of um, equipment. Equipment. Um, it is, I saw these, I mean, I've seen them a bunch of times, but I never thought about using them for the fish hobby until I saw it. Let's get a top down view. There we go. That's pretty cool, I think. I saw it in a video by a channel called, uh, Kamuki Backyard. K-A-M-U-K-I Backyard. Um, he has some pretty cool outdoor guppy breeding videos. Um, really cool things. And he... This is what he puts his um, guppy strains into to uh, separate them and to grade them out into the better and the you know the best categories. Um, so yeah, there we go. For this little bit, always look look like some huge fry right now, don't they? Anyways, I first saw it on one of his, actually a bunch of his videos, like that's a pretty cool idea. I should try and find those and see if I can repurpose them. Then I saw them in. See, I think the name of the channel is Simply Beta, Simply Beta Videos, I think that's, she has a uh, fish room in a bathroom that she doesn't use. Um, she got them shipped to her house and obviously these, this shape container here doesn't collapse and it doesn't uh, really ship easily, so they came in really big boxes, but I found them. I'll reveal my source here in just a second. Let me turn this slowly. Ah, if you recognize that brand. Um, this is straight from Walmart. I was in Walmart about two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? Maybe it was a week ago. A night of a pretty strong storm that came through. And um, I saw these. And they're like $2, which, I mean, that's obviously more than a dollar per gallon. But, I got one of them, so obviously you see it right here, this is 100% of what I have. Pretty, I was pretty excited to see it and turn it back around, because it's actually, it's, it's the smaller view, but it's the clearer view. Maybe if I could um, take the sticker off the front now that I've shown you the, obviously where it's from, there's a pretty big fry right there. Uh, showing you where it's from, I can take the sticker off now and see if I can get the, um, get the goo stuff off. And um, need not try to scare them too much here. And maybe that'll be a little bit clearer up in the front. So, um, see what else is going on here. Uh, I tried finding the fancier fin female fry in here for Fry Friday. Fancy fin female fry for Fry Friday. That's a lot of F's. Um, and, uh, but as you see, it's kind of green water. Uh, this is only half, a little bit less than half actually, way less than half probably, of the fry that I have. Because I separated my fry into two separate buckets. 
And so this is what you have. This is the actual Fry Friday footage to make it a uh, honest and truthful and um, this is what I'm looking for. Whatever, an honest and truthful Fry Friday. This makes it uh, a uh, legitimate, there we go, legitimate Fry Friday video. So, hope you found uh, this entertaining or informational. Mostly informational. I know I'm not the most entertaining. Though my lame jokes are rather entertaining, I'm pretty sure. But, um, anyways, uh, next week I plan on... At some point, maybe over the weekend, I might post it. Um, I will post a video that's different, slightly different in one way than what I've ever posted. So stay tuned for that. If you want to see that, turn on notifications, click that bell below. Uh, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, your grandmas, your neighbors your maybe your enemies too if you really want them to be just super educated with super useful information share it with your enemies too go for it um share it with your frenemies that would be greatly appreciated more so for me than them uh thumbs up thumbs down whatever that's thumbs down thumbs down tell me why no big deal and if you are that one person that dislikes every live stream of mine, please, tell me who you are. I think it's kind of funny. Doesn't bother me one bit. Uh, doesn't bother the fish either. They don't really care. They don't give a mosquito larva. They'd rather eat it. So, anyways, uh, I know this is late. I'm a really big procrastinating slacker when it comes to Fry Friday videos. Um, so... Anyways, I guess this is it. Have a nice weekend, everyone, and keep it fishy, people.